Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alonzo with Gulf Coast Smoke, and today I'm making smash burgers on my Blackstone griddle. So the other day I was walking through Walmart, getting my kids some sunscreen. We were going swimming at my parents' house, and of course you know that I had to accidentally walk by the barbecue aisle. And while I was doing that, I found a nice burger spatula and a hamburger press made by Blackstone. So of course you know I had to pick it up. I love smash burgers. I haven't made them too many times on my griddle, but today I did something extra special. I went ahead and grinded some choice sirloin steaks and some Wagyu brisket, and I actually made my own ground beef. So I'll show a little bit of that footage right here. Uh -huh. I do want you to come on in really close and take a look at the ground meat that we're working with today. So if you look at it here, you see that there's a lot of fat in there. That Wagyu brisket is gonna bring a large fat content. The sirloin was only choice, that's the best I could find. So it was pretty lean. It had some decent marbling, but this overall I hope is gonna taste really, really great. So I don't have anything crazy that I use to grind the meat. I actually just have a KitchenAid and I bought the attachment off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's what I used to grind this up. It was actually super duper simple. I had no problem doing it at all. The instructions were really easy and I did this in about 10 minutes. So what I did was I first grinded the meat through one time and then I mixed it together and grinded it again to make sure I had a really, really good mixture there. And this is what I came out with. And I'm really happy with the product, so I'm excited to cook these burgers. Like I told you a second ago, we're gonna use my Blackstone griddle. We're gonna get it nice and hot. We're gonna smash these down. Hopefully this burger press works really, really well. And then we're just gonna go ahead and cook them up. It'll be a pretty fast cook, but I'm interested to talk about how this ground beef tastes. And I'm interested to talk to you guys about smash burgers in general, which I personally think might be the best burger of them all. So I definitely recommend trying it, but we'll talk about how next level these burgers are today. So real quick, let's go outside. Let's get the Blackstone good and hot, and then we're gonna start getting these burgers ready. So we're out at the Blackstone, and I quickly wanna go over the way I set up the burners today. So it has four of them, and these two over here are actually set high. This one right here is set to medium, and this one is completely off. So what I usually do with this is I'll get the buns real hot and nice over here, and then I'll push them off to the side until we're ready to make our burgers. I am gonna form these patties today. What I usually recommend is doing a loose ball of meat and the reason we're gonna do that ball is because we are gonna smash these down. Don't forget they're smash burgers. And let's take a look at this meat and I'll show you how we're gonna form these patties. All right, so this is pretty simple. I'm just gonna eyeball it, get a nice ball of meat, loosely form it. Nothing too crazy. And that's it. So I'm gonna do four of these today because we're gonna eat double cheeseburgers. And that's all of them, so let's get right to cooking. All right, so two things I want to talk about with these smash burgers. Number one, I've never used this specific press, but I have cooked smash burgers from before, and I know that sometimes the meat will stick to your spatula or something like that. So I'm going to hit this with a little bit of oil before I start smashing. 
And number two, we're actually not gonna season these burgers just yet. We're gonna put some avocado oil down on the griddle and we're gonna smash them down and we're gonna season the opposite side that's being cooked. They're still gonna get a nice crust and they're still gonna be nice, thin, and crispy, I promise you. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna hit this with oil and then we're gonna start cooking. Today we're using that AP seasoning by Killer Hogs Barbecue. You can actually get this on my website at gulfcoastsmoke.com if you're interested in trying it. I think it's a great, great seasoning. You can use this on just about anything. So real fast, if you take a look at this burger that we put on first, you can actually see it browning on top now, even though it's not even being cooked there. And that's exactly when you wanna flip it, and then we'll put a cheese, and we'll put some seasoning on the other side. So real quick, take a look at this. This is what you're looking for when you wanna flip these over. You see how it's browning, it's being cooked all the way through? So let's go ahead and flip it. That's exactly what you want. You see that nice crust there? We didn't even season that side, and it still looks nice, crispy, Let's go ahead and hit it with some more of that AP. Nice piece of cheese over top. And that is gonna be done in just a second. So I'm gonna also go ahead and toast some buns. Just gonna use some of that oil that's there on the griddle and we'll go ahead and get these ready real fast. You see how loose the meat is there? It's gonna taste super duper juicy. We still have a nice crust. I'm ready. Another cheese. These are just about ready. I'll go ahead and put this on the bun now. This one's just about ready. That looks like a burger to me. So that was a really quick and simple cook. It turned out to be about a 10 minute cook. It does go really, really quick when you have a hot griddle like that. Now, if you don't have a griddle like that outside, you can actually come inside, use a cast iron skillet and get the same results. I've done it before, but I just prefer to go outside with my Blackstone, hang out with my kids, hang out with my wife, watch the dog go crazy outside. So it's just a lot of fun. So. I went ahead and sliced these open. I'm gonna take a quick bite and I wanna talk about how this meat tastes. I'm super duper excited to eat it. Let's get right into it. Oh yeah, looks really nice, looks really juicy, still hot. Quick bite here. I promise you, you cannot get a burger like that anywhere you have to try this out i that's phenomenal i haven't even put any toppings on it it's just the cheese and just the meat again i grinded up my own sirloin and brisket if you ever have a nice brisket and you're trimming it do not throw away the trimmings you can use those for something like today if you can hear my son i apologize i don't think that this dude knows what's going on right now he just sees his dad and he's just acting crazy so it's it's all good i apologize about that but back to what i was saying i grinded my own sirloin i grinded my own brisket 
do not throw away brisket trimmings, especially if you have a prime or a Wagyu like I had there. So this turned out absolutely amazing. I would say that the burger press and the new hamburger spatula was a success. It was definitely worth buying it. Like I told you guys earlier, if you're interested in something like that, I'll leave a link in the description below. Let you guys know everything that I used today. Thank you for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. I love the interaction that I'm getting with you guys, so keep interacting. What should I cook next? If you guys are interested, you can hit up gulfcoastsmoke.com to get all of our merchandise. We have hats, we have shirts, and anything you purchase there directly supports the channel and allows us to keep growing. We also sell rubs, salsas, hot sauces, and now a few barbecue sauces. So if you guys need anything, go ahead and hit up my website and see if I can supply it for you. As always, I really appreciate you tuning into this video. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, you got to try this burger out. Best one I've ever made. Hands down the best burger I've ever made. Mm -hmm.